Hello and welcome back, individuals of the planet that we call Earth. Today we're going to be playing Planet Smash yet again, just to remind you how fragile your planet is when faced with a massive Spike Viper invasion. That's right, we're going to war against you, Mexico. <laughs> why, why, why you? Well, I'm hungry and you didn't provide me with tacos. Very nice, we have solved the problem. You know, somewhere in between the blast in the United States, all of the food in the supermarket was cooked perfectly by the heat. Fun facts with Spike. I like how I accidentally fire more missiles as I'm scrolling. It's like I have a problem. I just cannot stop murdering people. Alright. So I actually, I want to do something. I want to remove all of the world except for the core. And then I want to remove just the core. It's going to be beautiful, alright? I'm sure removing the Earth's core is a healthy and, and fantastic process. Now, we know that we can do this sh stuff now, so uh, it's going to make it a little bit easier. Because we can just go... Oh, shoot, that's not the right weapon! Ah, I hate it when I accidentally kill people the wrong way. Alright. Uh, there we go. Alright, this will do... Oh, fantastic! Alright, so first let's remove everything except for the core of the Earth. It's going to be great. It's like when you have a candy in the center of it is like the beautiful cream filling and so you like let it melt in your mouth except it's earth and uh, genocide. But we must dig deeper. Let us dig deeper. <laughs> How small can we make the earth? This is the question now. I mean we can really put the earth on a diet. I'm just going to continue cutting off as much as I possibly can. You know, if any- if there's any consolation for the people on Earth, California is gone. Good job, we did it! It's gone! <laughs> uh, Californians in chat be like, no, why me? You know why. <laughs> Alright. We're almost done. We're almost done, look at it. It's beautiful. Oh my god. This is all that is left of Earth. Really makes you think about society. And how we live in one. Okay, that's not actually doing any damage. I think we're gonna have to turn it up to one. There we go. Alright. Alright, folks. We've almost done it. I- I am turning Earth into a grain of sand. I'm very proud about this. Very proud indeed. Alright. I don't think- <laughs> Yes, wait! I got- I got like a single piece of the Marching Cubes algorithm there. We got like a single- uh, uh, Oh! It's gone! It's completely gone. Our, oh shoot, I hate it when that happens. Okay, gotta scroll out like that. All right, all right, that was pretty good. Now we have to remove the core of the earth without removing anything else. This is like the hard mode. We're gonna try to remove the core of the earth without killing anyone. Thankfully, nobody seems to have had a ship or anything over here. Charlotte is big mad. She is big mad. Charlotte, come over here. Come over here. Alright. We're going to just continue ripping into the core of the earth. Can we remove it? Oh, no! I almost... Oh, God! I'm making a few mistakes. Um, good thing we didn't kill anyone. We got really close to Mexico again. Well, I don't have anything against Mexico. Alright? Stop worrying. It's okay. We're just gonna... Oh, God. Jeez. I feel like this is the most effective way to remove the core of the Earth. I feel like I'm not going to succeed in doing this without killing anyone, though. That's totally going to erupt on the other end. Um... Alright, I'll try to- Oh! Hey! It didn't kill anyone! Oh! This is fantastic! Greatest day of my life. 
You know, I really like it when I accidentally don't kill any- I mean, when I don't accidentally kill anyone. Alright, Charlotte needs to go out, so we're gonna have a slight cut here. Alright, we are- we are back for letting Charlotte use the bathroom. Very exciting stuff. And we are going to continue our goal of removing the core, the core of the earth without killing anyone. Um, I'm actually very impressed by the fact that we have not at this point killed anyone. And I think we've actually gotten like a big part of the core of the earth out. I think, you know, a few more explosives and uh, I think we'll have succeeded in our quest. Oh look! That is the core because the gravity is holding it all to the center there. That is so neat. Alright. Wow, this music is way too calm for this. This is kind of- this is really funny. <laughs> oh man, we did it. We decored Earth without killing anyone. Alright, well then I guess we'll just fill it with a million bombs. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, it's bound to go off eventually. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, they are starting to go off. Oh my holy guacamole! Um... Didn't kill anyone. It, it did not kill anyone. That That is beautiful. Now the core of the earth is just explosives. You can barely even tell anything happened. Barely. Barely, barely even tell. Barely. Could I cut the world in half without killing anyone? I'm- I'm- I'm kind of- I'm kind of curious. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna plot a course. A way that we can cut the earth in half without killing anyone. Alright, so we'll go under... Through here. I don't think anyone's on Antarctica, so that's- that's a safe spot to cut. Um, then we can go through between Alaska and Russia. I feel like pretty much nobody lives there. Yo! Okay, the North Pole. Then we pull around, go through the Atlantic Ocean without hitting the UK. Oh. My. God. It can actually be done. I cannot believe this. Okay, granted, it's not really in half. Um, we should have went a little bit wider. That's, that's fine, we can fix that. Without killing anyone. Just to make sure we don't hit New Zealand. I'm not convinced New Zealand actually exists anyways. <gasps> Look at that! That is actually like in half without killing anyone. Now we just have to get this cut to be a bit deeper and uh, see if we can pull this off. It's probably gonna be a little bit slow. Wow. This really says a lot about society. We can cut the world in half without hurting anyone. We should- why aren't we funding this? Why, why are we not funding this right now? Imagine all the good we could do. <laughs> Imagine how much the world will be improved once I don't have to deal with the British people. I mean, what? Uh, no, we killed people! Ah! Oh well, the, the, the idea is still sound. It's because I was slightly off. We could have done it without killing anyone, okay? We're still gonna call this successful. Six million is just, you know... That's a tiny amount of people, you know? We, we, we don't have to worry about six million. Well, once we get to like, a hundred million, that means that we really failed. Okay, we're at 12 million. Yeah, it's because of- it's because of England, I think. I think we may have caused some issues for them. Potentially. Uh, but the process is still going well. My, uh, my colleagues tell me that the, the project is going to be completed eventually. It really is calming cutting the earth in half. 
Oh shoot, we got some people in New Zealand. That's unfortunate. I actually do like New Zealand. No complaints about New Zealand. N nothing, nothing mean to say. You guys are just generally based. Alright. So, uh... This ravine is getting quite deep. As I said, I am hoping to cut the world in half with minimal casualties. We're, once again, we're just going to pretend those 12 million people just never existed. That's better for my ego. It's like cutting a slice off of a cake, except with a, slightly larger ramifications. You know, rather than people being angry that the sizes aren't equally portioned, um, people might die. When it comes to importance, that's pretty close, though. I mean, it is very sad when you don't give people the same amount of cake, and it's very sad when people die. So, in a way, it really was training the whole way for this job. This is why you should respect your local bakery. They have to deal with things you couldn't imagine. Alright, the uh, earth cutting in half process is actually looking pretty damn good at this point. I'm, I'm very confident that we can accomplish this without killing many more people. I mean, I'm not going to say nobody because I didn't think I was going to kill 12 million in the first place. Um, but you know, mistakes happen and we learn from them. Like, now I know not to kill 12 million people. It's a lesson that I, I... I just had to be taught. Wow, I fired 10,000 weapons. That's awesome. I'm a huge fan of that. Guys, 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 it's almost cut in half! We've almost done it with minimal casualties. You just have to go a little bit more on this side. Oh man, I cannot believe this. This may be my defining moment as a YouTuber. This may be the greatest accomplishment I've ever, ever accomplished. Absolute beauty. I mean, I've experienced absolute beauty, but this, this is, this is damn close to it. Damn close. Here we go. Still only 12 million dead. And, uh, we're very close to done here. You can actually see that we're coming out on the other side. Uh, the penguins might be a little bit upset, but, you know, penguins aren't people. God, the penguins are going to get really mad and attack me now. I'm going to have a penguin army on my shore. The Vuperians are not prepared to deal with penguins. If you're a penguin, please ignore that we basically destroyed Antarctica, okay? It was a necessary, it was a necessary sacrifice. God, this music is just so good for this. <laughs> oh yes, what are you doing today, darling? I'm cutting, cutting the earth in half. That is all. Oh, let me enjoy some more tea. <laughs> uh, so, but no, we hit 13 million dead. Okay, wait, but is it cut in half? Oh my goodness. I think there's a tiny bit that's still connected in here. Just gonna make absolutely sure that it's not. Gotta be safe about these things. You can't, if your client asks for the earth to be cut in half, you can't give them kind of cut in half. It's gotta be cut in half. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I believe we have actually, yeah. We, we cut the earth in half with no casualties. Just ignore those 13 million casualties. We, we freaking did it. I am I am so impressed by our our loving channel. Um, 
everything we can accomplish when we... <laughs> okay, I I'm gonna say that we can do greater things than this for humanity. Um, but when it comes to sheer willpower and determination, cutting the earth in half is gonna be one of the greatest things you could do to prove a point. Yes. Yes. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to cut the earth in half. And I'll see you all next time. <laughs> ah, we did it! Wow. How topical. Oh, wait. I, I mean, if... Uh, no, I'm not even going to destroy it. It's just so beautiful. We're going to leave it just as it is.